Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Christy Castellano. Still no suspects in mind for whomever is responsible for the rampant cases of Reese's graffiti reported at Syracuse University. Now, the most recent found on the fifth and sixth floors of Day Hall, where this all began more than two weeks ago. A post-it note with racist language also found on the first floor of Fence Hall and racist graffiti found at the Comstock Art Facility. Meantime, Syracuse police have arrested 18-year-old Kim McGowan in connection with a graffiti incident that wasn't racist that actually supported the campus protests. McGowan, who is listed as a freshman in the student directory, is charged with criminal mischief, accused of vandalizing Bird Library and the Irving Garage. News Channel 9's Josh Martin joining us live from the SU Hill again tonight. Josh, you spoke with Syracuse police this afternoon, so what's their focus of the investigation? Rod and Christy, they continue to focus to try to find any evidence to these racist incidents. We do know Syracuse police made the arrest this morning. They're investigating the swastika that was found over on Comstock, and they're continuing to look into the claims that there was a racist manifesto shared here on campus. We do know that was posted online. It's yet to be determined if it was actually shared here on campus. Students are getting ready to head home for Thanksgiving break. All of these incidents under investigation by multiple agencies, including Syracuse police, the Department of Public Safety here on campus, state police, and the FBI. Four new cases here on campus were discovered today. That they add to the already dozens of racist incidents here found on campus in the last two weeks. It's been busy, overwhelming at times. Um, the thing we try to do is obviously get the most timely and accurate information out as possible while trying to be as transparent. Um, I just want to remind people that, in my opinion, um, I don't believe that this is a, a hateful city by any means, and I just think that, you know, we need to come together as a community, identify the people that are doing this. Law enforcement will continue to have a presence here on campus during Thanksgiving break. And going forward, we're told that the investigations will continue. The, the university announced today that students would not be punished for not going to class today or tomorrow. As of tonight, campus is clearing out. Live in Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. Josh, thank you. Chancellor Kent Siverud has reached an agreement now with a group of Jewish students about recommendations the university says will ultimately strengthen the campus. He has also signed off on all 19 recommendations from student protesters with three edits.